Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to put your backpack on properly. One of the times that as a backpacker you are most susceptible to injury is actually when you're putting your backpack on and taking it back off, right? As you can see, I'm tweaking my back to do it. Uh, and tweaking your back because you put your backpack on incorrectly is one of the worst reasons to have to cut a trip short. So today we're going to go through uh, four tips for putting your backpack on properly. So, tip number one, you've got your backpack packed and you're ready to throw it on at the trailhead. First thing you're going to want to do is to find a friend. So, fortunately, I have a beautiful friend right here who's <laughs> going to help me out with this. Um, so what you're going to want to do, this is the buddy system that I practice all the time when I hike with friends. Your friend is going to help you by supporting the weight of your pack while you get the shoulder straps on and the hip belt. Just Communication is key in this phase because like anything in life, if she lets the pack go before I'm ready, then it falls, right? So perfect, one, two, I've got the weight of the pack and she can step away. If you guys can't find a friend, you can use a rock conveniently located on next to the trailhead or close to the trailhead, or use a picnic table, faux picnic table. What you're gonna wanna do here, lift the weight of your pack, set it on the picnic table while you get the shoulder straps adjusted. Using good body posture, lift, and you can move on from there. Okay guys, tip number two for putting your backpack on properly. Once you have it on your shoulders, but everything is pretty loose, you're gonna actually wanna start at the hips, right? So the hips is where, uh, the hips are what's gonna support the majority of the weight of your pack. Uh, and there's this really awesome area here on your hip, it's called your hip bone or your iliac crest. If you find your hip bones, this is where you want the hip belt of your pack to sit just above that bone. So you're gonna clip and adjust so that the majority of your pack weight is sitting on your hip bones and not on the top of your shoulders. Tip number three, we're moving from hips up to shoulders now. As you can see, if I left the shoulder straps of my pack super uh, loose like this, all the weight of my pack is gonna be way behind me. If I step on an uneven part of the trail and start to go over, this is gonna be very dangerous for me, so I wanna tighten them down simply by pulling there. And we don't wanna tighten this too tight so that we can feel it pinching our shoulders in, right? But we want it tight enough so that the weight of our pack isn't leaning far off of our back. Once you've got your shoulder straps tightened up, tip number four is gonna to be to come up here and find these load lifter straps and make sure that those are tightened down as well. If I loosen them, the weight of my pack is actually gonna drop down here. So what, what I'm doing by tightening them up and lifting them is I'm bringing the weight of my pack closer to the center of gravity for my torso. What that's gonna do is make it just easier on my body and my hips to carry this pack over the course of a lot of miles. Now in this stage, it's also a good uh, time to check the two finger rule. So you're gonna take two fingers and make sure that you can slide them in here between the top of your shoulder and the top of this uh, shoulder straps. In this case, I might even want to adjust my pack up a little higher, tighten some, tighten the shoulder straps up and these load lifters so that I can comfortably get two fingers in there and I don't have the majority of the weight resting on my shoulders. Tip number five, bonus tip. I said there was only going to be four, but you got one more. It has to do with our sternum strap here. So if I don't use it, you can see that the shoulder straps of my pack are way out here. They're resting on my shoulder muscles. Over time, that's gonna put a little bit more wear and tear on my shoulders. It actually makes it a little harder for me to move around uh, as I'm checking out things on the trail, grabbing pine needles to smell, whatever your fancy is on the trail. So connecting this sternum strap and tightening it up, as you guys are, will see the difference here, is actually gonna pull those sh shoulder straps onto the outside of my pectoral muscles instead of my shoulders. These are larger muscles. They won't fatigue as much over the course of a bunch of hours on the trail. And now my arms are completely free to reach above my head to do jumping jacks on the trail or just to work with my trekking poles. 
So that's your last tip. Make sure you adjust that sternum strap up. Finally, uh, you're going to go through a lot of different phases with your backpack if you're wearing it all day. So micro adjustments are key. Bonus, bonus tip, don't be afraid to micro adjust as you go. Whether one shoulder feels looser than the other, whether this uh, sternum strap gets uncomfortable and you might actually try to uh, open up your chest a little bit sometimes throughout the day, know that uh, once you have your pack fit up at the trailhead, you're not stuck or you're not uh, set into that's how you have to wear it all day. Feel free to make micro adjustments to make yourself comfortable. So those are my tips for how to put your backpack on properly. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. I'm the Backpack Guide. Thank you for supporting my mission to explore wilderness, create learning opportunities, and connect with nature. We'll see you guys next time.